Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss problem solving using dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is also called factor label method. It is a problem solving technique of calculating physical quantities in which units are included and are treated in the same way as numbers. In this method, we use units and the conversion factors to solve a problem. Let us now discuss some of the terms used in problem solving. The first term that is commonly used in problem solving using dimensional analysis is initial unit. As we have to convert one unit into another, so initial unit is the unit which we have to convert. Initial units can be one or more than one. For example, in converting kilometers to meters, the initial unit is kilometers. And here we see that there is only one initial unit. In converting kilometers per hour to meters per second, there are two initial units that are kilometers and hours. The next term is desired units or wanted units. These are the final units that we want to obtain. The next term is unit path. This is the series of conversions used in order to obtain the desired unit. The next term is conversion factors. Each conversion factor is a ratio of units that equals 1. For example, from the conversion kilometers to meters, 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, we have two conversion factors. 1 kilometer upon 1000 meters or 1000 meters upon 1 kilometer. Because 1 kilometer upon 1000 meters is equal to 1 and 1000 meters upon 1 kilometer is also equal to 1. We will use the following steps to solve problems using problem solving method of dimension analysis. The first step is to identify the initial and desired units. The second step is to identify the unit path from initial to desired unit. So, in the unit path, we begin with the initial quantity which is written here with units multiply it with conversion factors that will be written in these blank spaces and we obtain the desired quantity with units Now, our next step is to write the unit path using equivalence as conversion factors to obtain desired units.
the next step is to treat units as numbers it means we set up the problem so that units are cancelled and we are left with desired unit let us consider the following example how many seconds are there in 3 days our first step is to identify the initial and desired units in this question we have to find the number of seconds in 3 days it means we have to convert days into seconds so here we have the initial unit is days and the desired unit is seconds step 2 is to identify unit path in this case we will have linking units that is to convert days into seconds we will first convert days into hours then in minutes and then in seconds so here the initial quantity is 3 days and the desired quantity will be in seconds and the unit path will be written like this the third step is to write unit path using equivalence as conversion factors to obtain desired unit now we know 1 day is equal to 24 hours 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds from 1 we have 1 day upon 24 hours is equal to 1 and 24 hours upon 1 day is equal to 1 from 2 we have 1 hour upon 60 minutes is equal to 1 and 60 minutes upon 1 hour is equal to 1 and from 3 we have 1 minute upon 60 seconds is equal to 1 and 60 seconds upon 1 minute is equal to 1 we will choose those conversion factors so that all other linking units and initial units cancel out and we are left with the desired unit that is seconds so we have the following unit path see here we first convert days into hours using the conversion factor 24 hours upon 1 day then we convert hours into minutes using the conversion factor 60 minutes upon 1 hour and lastly we convert minutes into seconds using the conversion factor 60 seconds upon 1 minute our next step is to treat units as numbers that is to cancel the units and terms so that we are left with only desired units If we try to cancel out the linking units and the initial units that is days cancel with days hours cancel with hours minutes cancel with minutes we obtain the desired unit that is seconds so now 3 days is equal to 3 into 24 upon 1 into 60 upon 1 into 60 upon 1 seconds that is equal to 259200 seconds therefore there are 259200 seconds in 3 days which is the required answer this completes our session hope you enjoyed the session